Just doing a little video review on the Monoprice 24 port Keystone Jack panel, part number 7260, and the Monoprice Cat 6 RJ45 Toolless Keystone Jack. Um, my particular one is blue, part number 1040. Uh, to start with the patch panel, it's just a 1U 24 port standard one that supports Keystone Jacks. With it comes um, 24 small zip ties, four coarse threaded rack screws, and then these little blue indicators to show that it, it's uh, data at the port. These little blue indicators go in the little, uh, little rectangles above the port. Overall, I'd say this is adequate for the basically $9 it costs. It is kind of bendy and flexible if, if you really plan on you know, twisting it and stuff, I guess. I am a little disappointed that the keystone jacks mount into plastic pieces, but and back again, you know, it's only $9 basically. The keystone jacks work nice. They fit in there pretty well. You just lock the bottom in and then push it till it clicks. And then they fit nice and flush. And with the mono price ones I have, you can just remove them with your hand. You don't need tools. It's a little difficult, but ideally you only have to put them in there once. They come pre-numbered, which is nice. Um, if you have a different numbering scheme than that, it may cause some problems. In my case, when I used them, I just I'm renumbering all my cables anyways, so like this would be patch panel A and then I have 1 through 24 and then the next one's patch panel B 1 through 24. I didn't really feel like conforming to the original numbering scheme they had. The jacks, they are adequate. <laughs> you get what you pay for. I mean the the price is fine. The tool this feature is nice. I did run into some problems with some plenum rated cables where the conductors had thicker insulation on them than these slots would allow. So as you start pushing your conductors in, the slots start getting narrower and narrower because they're getting squeezed together. It made it really difficult to use those cables, but with a few choice words and some effort, I was able to get them terminated and they, they have tested to be fine. One disappointment with these jacks is when they're installed in the patch panel, as you see, the conductor slots are pointing down. So there is a chance that when you have your cables installed, if I can get that in place, there we go. When the cables are installed, if they're putting a downward force, there's a chance that they could slip out. I believe that's what the intent of the zip ties are though, is to uh, lock that in place. It's something I will have to work on with um, the patch panels. But I feel that's kind of a poor design. The problem is, depending on your setup, no matter which way the slots are going for the cables, it might be a problem. Because this way, I mean, naturally your cables are going to be going down to some degree. But let's say, let's say they put it on the top. Well, the cables are still going down. They're putting force. It's going to tweak the cables up towards towards the top. So if this does come off, your cables are still guaranteed almost to work their way out over time. So I guess that's not really a fault of the jack. It's just the fault of the cost of the item. I don't know if they could re-engineer this in a way that made that less of an issue and still keep the... I believe it was like dollar forty-one price. So they're nothing spectacular, but I will say that I feel fairly confident that they're a good value for the money. I don't see why a person would have any problems with them. Um, the build quality is not the best, but the build quality is adequate to do the job, which is really all that matters. Um, if you plan on using these in an environment where you're going to be touching them a lot or messing with them and rearranging, then maybe look at some of the higher-end stuff that Monoprice or other carriers offer.
But overall, for the price and for the average user, I think it's a good value and I definitely plan on buying more because I will need a few more jacks and a patch panel for my project. Plus I might buy a few spare jacks for future stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching.